today I will explain uh, how to design a home automation using a smartphone in Cisco packet uh, tracer simulator software. So for this experiment we need the home automation devices like ceiling fan, lamp, window, door etc. So how to choose them? Go to the end devices, click on end devices, click on home. So here we will get many devices. We will select one after the other. First I will select ceiling fan. Click on this and place here place in the work work uh, workspace then select lamp place it here then select uh, we will select uh, one window so window somewhere here and uh, we will select one garage door and we will place it here. So I have selected four uh, 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 components a uh, fan, light, window, garage door. So here below each component it is mentioned as IOT, uh, uh, I, uh, IOT device number IOT 7, IOT 8, IOT 9, IOT 10. So for this we will give name separately later. So to connect all these things, we need a gate a home gate uh, home gateway. So how to select home gateway? Select on network devices. Click on wireless devices. Here you will get place it here. This is home gateway. So first we should connect all these things to the home gateway. Uh, as soon as I connect the, uh, all the components to the home gateway, it is showing the wireless connection because in the previous experiment already I have selected this. I will show you how to select this wireless. Click on each component and click on physical. Click on advanced option, click on IO configuration. Here you have to select the uh, network adopter. So before that I will tell you what is home, home gateway and what is network adopter. So the home gateway uh, it can act as a DHCP that is dynamic host configuration protocol server. It automatically assigns IP address to the devices within the local area network. This simplifies the configuration process for devices uh, as they can obtain their IP addresses automatically. Here we are not assigning IP address manually. The home gateway itself assigns the IP address to all the devices automatically. Then uh, what is this network adopter? The first option. The network adopter uh, uh, is a hardware component or it is an interface. It allows device like a computer, phone, etc. to connect to a network. So it can be wired like an ethernet adopter uh, or uh, it can be wireless like Wi-Fi wi adopter. The network adopter is responsible for sending and receiving data over the network. So this is about network adopter and a home gateway. So here uh, I'll show you uh, if I select any one of these other than the 1W, what happens? You just check it. See the connection lost here. So if you want to connect this device to uh, home gateway, so you must select one option, click on the fan, click on the 
uh, uh, IP IO configuration and in network adapter you should choose PT IOT NM 1W. So if you choose this, so in a fraction of second it gets connected to the home gateway. This is a symbol of wireless connection. So like this for all devices I have selected um, on a, that PT IOT 1, uh, uh, sorry I forgot, PT IOT uh, uh, NM 1W. This option I have uh, chosen because of that for all the devices I am uh, getting the wireless connection. Uh, uh, then uh, for home gateway what you should do, click on this, go to configuration and here uh, you can change the name in your home gateway, uh, any name you can give, I will keep this name as it is home gateway and click on LAN and it will, uh, uh, the address is automatically assigned, it is 192.168.25.1, this is the IP address of your home gateway, then in wireless, so the SSID is home gateway, so yes, the SSID of this uh, uh, home gateway is, uh, by default it is giving as home gateway, let it be like this. So this much you should take care of, after that you close this. Now go to each and every device, uh, uh, after checking the network adapter PTIoT NM1W for all devices, you have uh, to do one more thing, click on configure. So here on in configure click on wireless because we are uh, doing wireless connection. And you just check here SSID is home gateway or not because the SSID of this uh, home gateway is just now we check it is home gateway. So if it is uh, not written here you should copy and paste it, paste it here. So it is home gateway okay. So after that you just scroll down and this is very very important. Let me do this again uh, physical advanced and in IO configuration scroll down this is very important in IOT server you must choose home gateway then close it this is for first device in the same way you do it for second device click on this click on physical click on advanced you just once check IO configuration network adopter is selected or not yes it is selected if it is not selected you have to select then click on configuration and uh, you just check uh, you click on uh, display name you can give here uh, if you want to give the display name as some other thing the bulb or lamp you can give it here otherwise let it be IOT 8 only then uh, click on wireless and scroll down here again you have to select Wait a minute. So, NMIWT configuration. Ah, here you have to select IoT server as home gateway. For every device, you have to select IoT server as a home gateway. So, similarly for window, go to physical, click on advanced, check IO configuration, check the ne network adapter. It is IoT NM 1W, click on configuration, click on wireless and select select the IoT server as home gateway. So the last one is left out, garage door, click on garage door click on physical, click on advanced, check the IO configuration network adapter, it is selected, check the configuration, go down, select home gateway. So like this you have to do for all the devices. Now to control all these things, so how to select the smartphone, go to the click on end devices. 
so here you have a smartphone click on this and place it here so we have to do some configuration on the smartphone click on smartphone and click on configuration and display name you can change here I am keeping as it is smartphone only and click on wireless zero and here we should write the SSID what SSID we got it in home gateway if you have for, forgotten so you close this go to the home gateway click on home gateway and click on LAN uh, wireless so here, here you have a SSID home gateway you just copy it and paste it there I will copy it now copied I will close this I will go to the smartphone click on this and here in wireless I have to paste this uh, home gateway that is SSID of home gateway so I will erase this and paste it so I got go gate home uh, home gateway so this much we should take care so after that you close this so as soon as I give again the wireless communication uh, uh, that line the dotted line we got from smartphone to home gateway now everything is over next again click on smart uh, home uh, smartphone click on desktop click on iot monitor so when I click on IoT monitor, I <coughs> will get this window. Here the IoT server address, the, what we got it in home gateway, it should display here. And username you can change, password also you can change. I am not changing, by default it is coming as admin and click on login. Once I click on login, I will just drag, uh, drag this window and drop here. So I got four options because I have selected four devices. So uh, one, one after the other, I'll control it. I'll click on this IoT 7. IoT 7 is my fan. So when both, both side, you can see it here. When I press on low, see low and a high option are there. I click on low, see. So one single line is coming on a fan. It means that it is running in a low speed. When click on high, double line is coming. It means that it is uh, running in a high speed. When I click off, both the line will go off. So fan is off. In the same way, IoT 8 is bulb. When I click on on, it has got two options, on and uh, dim. So when I click on dim, see the bulb is in dim condition. When I click on on, bulb is fully on. When I click on off, <coughs> bulb is off. And for the third device IoT 9, it is window. When I click on window, window gets opened. You check here. When I again click, window closes. Window opens, window closes. In the same way, the garage door opens and garage door closes when I click on this button. You check here. Again, I click on this, click on this. In this way, in using smartphone, you can control the home appliances. In this way, we can design the uh, design home automation uh, to control a ceiling fan, window, lamp, garage door using smartphone in Cisco Packet Tracer. Thank you for watching this video.